Hey, this is David of Inspect Canada. I'm in this strata building right here that is built between 1965 and 1972. Those are the years where aluminum wiring was very popular. Price of copper went up, they started using aluminum wiring, and a few years later, they realized that this is not the solution. What's happening is that whenever you have a piece of aluminum that is inside an outlet, like this here, with heat, whenever it, it heats up and it cools down, it expands and retracts, and eventually it comes loose. And when it comes loose, it can start arcing, and boom, fire. So it's an insurance issue. The insurance company don't like aluminum wiring. But the good news is that there's a very easy solution for it, and it's called pigtailing. So I will show you exactly what pigtailing is all about. But the first thing I like to do is I'll open this panel and I'll show you inside all this aluminum wiring. So this is how aluminum wiring looks like. It's a silver kind of wire. And what's important, what the insurance company wants is they want to have an antioxidant paste between the screw and uh, the wire. So this is already done here, and then I'll show you how to get it done at an outlet. All right, so we have an outlet right here. This is the outlet that I wanna fix. So like I told you earlier, the insurance company don't like to see aluminum wiring reaching the outlet because of expansion, retraction, comes loose, starts arcing, fire. So what they want is they want copper to reach to the outlet. So how do we do this? Long story short, we're gonna open this up, take the aluminum wires out of it, and we're gonna add a little piece of copper to it. So we'll take the aluminum, we'll put it there, we'll use a marette to connect them together, but it's very important to actually put an antioxidant paste on it. And I got a couple models here. This one has a little brush on it because you want it all over the place, not just on the exterior. And I got another model right here. I like to squirt a little bit of that inside the merit as well. So once we have that, then we will have a copper connection to the outlet. And also it's always a good time to replace the outlet at that time, just so that you, it looks all brand new. So let me take this outlet off and then I'll show you exactly how it's done. All right, so just so you know as well, I did turn the power off. We have no power here, very important step to do. Shut the breaker off at the panel. Let's pull this off. And right here we have aluminum and we have a piece of aluminum here for the neutral. So what I'll do is I'll open this up. And the one at the bottom here is the neutral. So we'll connect that on the new outlet. So this old outlet here, we can really just get rid of that. It's good to stretch these wires back nice and straight. Well, this one, we're not gonna pigtail it, so we'll give it a nice little curve to get it in behind the other screw. And then this one, we'll straight it up. Okay, so like I mentioned a little bit earlier, so I got, this is my neutral, this is my hot, and this is my ground right here. So we have to use these marrets here. They're very specific marrets. They're called Marret 63. And it's going to be hard to read, but it says for aluminum wiring and for copper right there. And those are the only one really that you need to use on this. So like I mentioned also earlier, we need to put a little bit of an antioxidant paste on that on all sides. And then you put them side by side. You put your Marriott 63 right there and you twist clockwise and it's going to twist all of that all together until it's nice and tight. So now basically we have a copper connection. I'm going to do the exact same thing on this one. We'll push all these wires inside that box. We'll throw this brand new outlet right here. And basically now the insurance company will be super happy. So let's get going on that. So now we have to make sure we do this right. 
So on this outlet here, we have the silver screw, no, the, the golden screw, this is gonna be for my hot, which is the black wire. And the silver is gonna be for my neutral, no, it's, yeah, for my neutral, which is the white wire. And the green screw here is for the ground. So I'll put this back together. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and turn on the power and we're gonna make sure that it's wired properly. So just give me a sec. As you can see, the power is back on. These two orange lights are on. If you had one of those, you could see that it means that it's wired correctly. So we've basically done it. Now you would have to do that to every single outlet inside that unit. Most condos out there um, that has aluminum wiring, they're normally, they normally have about 12 to 15 outlets in there. Electricians normally charge roughly between around $25 per outlet. So if you got about, you know, 15, it'll be roughly, you know, between three to $400. And uh, they'll replace all the outlets as well at the same time. Something that most of the time, they don't seem to do the switches. Um, when you know I, I would recommend to do them I, they're not as important as an outlet but if you're gonna do it you might as well do it right and do it all over the place so you do the switches in the outlet and now uh, you know the entrance will be perfectly fine with this and and keep in mind too that if you're not comfortable around electricity please don't bother just get an electrician to do it we're just trying to save a little bit of money here we're not here to hurt ourselves so you know It'll be between three to four hundred dollar. You get this done by an electrician. It'll be done right, and also you'll have some paperwork for the insurance company as well if they like to see that it's been done by a professional. So as you could see, aluminum, aluminum wiring is never great news, but there's such an easy solution to it that there's absolutely no point in stressing out. We're talking about a few hundred dollar here, and even something that you could potentially do yourself. We didn't need much tools here today. What I did is I I got myself about a meter of wires i get that at home depot this is a 14 gauge wire because this outlet is on a 15 amp breaker so 15 amp breaker use 14 gauge wires so i got one for my neutral one for my hot uh it's super cheap it really the the, the most expensive part here um you know is really just your time uh an outlet like this cost about six or seven dollar this was probably another few bucks uh, so it, it's not going to cost you very much and, um, and and now basically whenever you sell your unit um, You know, nobody's going to complain that you have aluminum wiring in there. It has been pigtailed So thank you so much to, for, for taking the time to watch this video. We're so grateful that you do uh, Please be sure to subscribe and click the little bell so that you get a notification whenever we post a new video And if you have any questions whatsoever please feel free to reach, us, uh, reach out to us directly. We'll be super happy to help. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.